be like, hey girl, do you like bacon? She'd be like, yeah, why? Want a strip? Okay, here we are, mid-August, 90% humidity and rain in the forecast. It's gonna rain all week, and that's outstanding. Why? Because if it ain't raining, we ain't training. Now, early February, maybe late January-ish, it snowed for four videos, four in a row. And I went ahead and did a bridge-style hammock, and I mentioned that once summertime comes, I wanna revisit this and do it a different way. So, here we go, bucket list item, a bridge style hammock. Let's get to our spot and get set up. Okay, so here we are. We have a nice flat spot right here, and I have two trees, one here and one right there. And I'm thinking a bridge style hammock. So think of those old wooden bridges. They're connected on one side, they kind of bow down to the other side, and they have wooden slats. Boom, 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 all the way across. I want to do the exact same thing, but create a hammock. Nothing too high, maybe about three foot off the ground. And then our tarp system, maybe some type of outriggers on that tarp, and a nice fire pit over here. Let's get to it. Here's the thought process. I see this, that's my old buddy, Poison Ivy. And I'm like, sorry, no tortilla. Okay, so to get an idea of what we're doing here, my design's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna take one of these and attach it to a tree right there. And this one, opposite tree. Now I have basically a horizontal surface that I can attach my ropes to and form that bridge style hammock. And then it's just a matter of placing my slats or rungs in between there, boom, 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 and we're in business. So the trick's gonna be taking my loop, I have one right here and one on my opposite side. I'm gonna grab the bottom and simply bring it up. It will tighten against a large log. Then I can slide the smaller one next to it like that, and then do it again, bring the bottom one up, and then place the next one in, the next one, the next one, the next one, all the way down. Only 75 more to go. This is going to take forever. Okay, so last week I went ahead and introduced you guys to my truck and quite a few people showed their support and I appreciate it. Um, here's the result of that. The analytics are in. Nothing changed. Um, it, I had to push the video three times for three days straight on social media just to get average views at best. Um, a lot of people were angry, pissed off that I decided to camp next to an abandoned house they felt gypped on their free video that I provide. So um, I'm torn on what to do. Um, this is a bucket list item. So I'm gonna go ahead and fulfill my obligations. I have three or four more bucket list items I'm gonna do for you guys that I think are outstanding and there's something that I've always wanted to do. And some are labor intensive. I'm gonna go ahead and fulfill my obligation and then we're gonna talk about the future of my channel when that time comes. Um, who knows? Maybe things will turn around. I need about 1,000 more branches, so catch you all in a minute.
Okay, so far so good. We're looking outstanding. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's keep this video as simple as possible. That same cloth tape, that mule tape, clove hitch it right here on this tree, gives me two pigtails. Now we have a large log at the end of our hammock. Clove hitch it here, clove hitch here, over there as well. Now our wooden hammock will be free floating at the height that I desire, as well as sway back and forth, just like a real hammock. Then we can make like Sean Mullins and rock a bye. So all I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to pull this tight and then put an overhand knot in it just to guarantee there's no slippage. And then the rest of this will just wrap around and feed it through and then leave it alone. And there we go, Corporal's Bushcraft Hammock. Check this out. <sighs> Catch you all in a few. <sighs> As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One of my Amazon Influencer page and two of my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Okay, so looking at the tarp here, it appears to be short, but when I pull on it, it covers my hammock completely on both ends. I'm thinking instead of going with a traditional A-frame stakeout, I rig up some type of wooden poles, vertical here, vertical here, and a horizontal ridge pole, and stake it out like this, okay? And yeah, here's my handle, here's my spout. Um, the reason for that, plus a fire right over here, the heat, can work itself around me, actually underneath me as well, because we have this lattice or this these rungs here for our hammock. But the smoke can actually go around me, keeping mosquitoes at bay. The rain's gonna stop here or the drizzle in about an hour, but then it's gonna get humid and mosquitoes and bugs are gonna be everywhere. So I wanna utilize that campfire smoke to keep them away.
if I had a penny for every single one of these I made over the past two years, be rich AF. Corporal Vampire Slayer. And out of nowhere, Sit back and ride her out. You know, I was thinking about something. You got the cocaine cowboys, even the queen of meth, and my boy, Abe Froman, the sausage king of Chicago. To many, I've been known as the bacon lord. And to be honest, I prefer the bacon layered. It sounds more distinguished. I wonder what kind of chicks I could actually pick up with that though, being the bacon layered. Be like, hey girl, do you like bacon? She'd be like, yeah, why? Want a strip? And there we go, Corporal's BLT. And mustard. Mm. As usual, outstanding AF. Crispy bacon, firm tomatoes, crisp lettuce. Mm. Mm -mm. Catch you all in a few.
just like that. Nineteen forty five, seven forty five PM. So we'll talk about the shelter tomorrow like usual. Um, I'm happy with this. We have a wooden hammock, Gilligan's Island style, in the woods. Um, I'm digging this. And luckily we got the tarp up in time because it did rain a little bit, but well if you want to call it that, it kind of like dusted us for about fifteen minutes. Um, nothing to worry about, but Fire's going, we had chow, mosquitoes be kept at bay right now, so it's always a good thing. Now, I touched on this earlier, I talked about how I got three or four bucket list items left. Um, in between there I'll toss in some fillers, uh, maybe some overland camping, kind of drag this out a little bit, but I'm looking, and once I finish my bucket list items, and you'll know, like I said earlier, we're going to talk about the future or yeah, the future of my channel. Um, my channel will never be totally disbanded, but there's a point or a line in the sand that's drawn at certain times when enough is enough, and it's no longer fun or profitable, or both. So we'll jump off that bridge when we come to it, but rest assured, we got about three or four awesome bucket list items left, and like I said, I'll toss in a few fillers. So. Look forward to that. A lot of things coming up that we'll talk about. Um, one thing I'm looking at doing is going back to school. I got enough credits to finish off my bachelor's degree in anthropology. I really enjoyed that. Thinking about doing some type of master or in the future, some type of doctorate maybe in archaeology or something like that, Dr. Corporal, um, Indiana Jones on steroids. But use that type of degree and knowledge along with this and sort of bridge the gap or combine the two. No one's done that yet. Um, make videos, overnighters, go out, you know, get in adventures, um, look for lost treasures, things like that. Things that most mainstream media and archaeology don't want to touch, kind of like Templars in America, um, things like that. But that's all down the road. These are just things I'm interested in that are on my personal bucket list that I want to dabble in um, before my time is up on this planet. Another thing is maybe going and getting a reserve police officer post certificate and then work as a reserve officer here and there. Um, it's always been a dream to be a cop. or bounty hunter um, a lot of cool things and i think we can use this platform for other things besides just bushcraft and survival but make it relevant make sense these are just things that pop in my head kind of like these shelters i see these pictures i see the thumbnail the thumbnail that you see i see it in my head it's hard to, to explain or describe but i see it and then i can build it make sense um, but again we'll talk about this when the time comes um, don't want to scare anybody off too soon. And my usual thank you. Thank you all my subs, all my old subs, all my new subs. Thank you for sticking around. And the new subs, thanks for checking me out. Um, long 13 years, still here. Um, fighting a uphill battle right now. But we'll get through it. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for what you're doing. Uh, I just ask you to keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos all the way in. Share them with everyone everywhere. Check out YouTube's recommended playlist. Find my next recommended video and play that bad boy. Show YouTube you want Corporal's Corner. And I'm going to keep giving you Corporal's Corner. 
I appreciate it. Without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. With that, though, 8.15 p.m. It'll be dark in about 35 minutes. I'm going to stack some more firewood, um, settle in for the night, and get comfy. Got a lot on my mind, a lot of things I'm thinking about, a lot of ideas, a lot of creativity going on. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my fire. I'll catch you all in the morning. Last night I had a dream that, nope, it was all real. Different, but good. Was a gift from a sub, so I appreciate it. Let's talk about this shelter. Nothing special. An over-exaggerated trapper's cabin or a lean-to that I can actually stand up in. Um, the crown jewel, though, was this hammock, um, this bushcraft hammock. Again, nothing special. We use our mule tape in a clove hitch on our trees. Came down to clove hitches on both sides. Boom, boom. So, one and done. All we did was we did a weave pattern with the rest of our uh, mule tape and slid in our slats here or our rungs and created an improvised bushcraft hammock in the woods. And I mentioned back in, I want to say it was February or early March, maybe late February, when there was snow outside that I wanted to revisit this. And here's why. Last time I did this, the video was called Solo Overnight Building a Wooden shelter in the woods i think it was it was a wooden hammock wooden shelter one of those but the trees were laying on the ground and they were horizontal and we attached to them so this attachment point was different and we were higher off the ground and it was summertime i wanted to see the difference and being about two and a half feet off the ground that heat right there rolled right over top of me underneath me and the smoke passed over me as well keeping the bugs at bay so i'm happy with this one for the books and to be honest if I get a chance to get off the ground, I'm going to take it first time, every time. And believe it or not, this thing is extremely comfortable. And I'm wondering how long it would actually last if I built one for my house and just left it like in a courtyard. That mule tape would probably take years to rot away. Um, this can also be done with rope or paracord. Now, paracord will stretch. And rope, you'll get a larger gap between your slats. So keep that in mind bushcraft hammock in the woods and there we go solo overnight building a wooden hammock in the woods another bucket list item complete as always all the gear in my videos can be found in two places one of my amazon influencer page and two of my self-reliance outfitters influencer page and if you're interested in corporal's corner merchandise that can be found on teespring all three links are found inside my description box now please do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button then ring that notification bell once you ring that bell please select all notifications and as always thank you for your comments views and support thanks for watching get out in the field have some fun i'm gonna catch you next time Once again, you're still here, and just like the Marvel Universe, bonus footage. Check this out. My knife, the Camp and Trail Corporal Kelly Edition from PFT Knives, has now been revamped and is part of PKS Knives. Check that bad boy out. It's going to be available late September-ish, early October, on my Self-Reliance Outfitters link. That link is inside my description box. Check it out.